Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, I'm going to break down the different types of anatomy and physiology that we'll be covering and then introduce a few more that you'll probably be learning as you move forward. So there are two major fields of anatomy. We have gross anatomy and microscopic anatomy. Now gross anatomy, that, that could also be called macroscopic anatomy, uh, the things you can see with the naked eye. Uh, microscopic anatomy, like the name implies, are things that are microscopic and cannot be seen with the unaided eye, as they say. Now, gross anatomy is also a term you're going to hear when students are in gross anatomy courses where they study while um, learning using human cadavers. So just if, if that helps you remember, if you think that working with a cadaver would be gross, then that, that's, where the, that's the term gross anatomy. So gross anatomy can be then further broken down. We have surface anatomy, where we learn all your surface structures. Uh, we'll, we will be covering them in detail in this class. Regional anatomy, where you focus on a region, so like just learning all the anatomy of the head and neck, for example. Systemic anatomy would be all the the structures in one organ system, and we will cover each organ system in detail as we move forward. Um, developmental anatomy we will not cover, uh, that, that's embryology, so the anatomical study of, of our development is embryology, but that, that's beyond the scope of this class. And then we have clinical anatomy, uh, which is sometimes uh, called medical anatomy, uh, and, then you, and then you have radiographic anatomy, which are things that you'll learn once you have the foundation from this course. So here we just see just the structure of the heart, that's, that's just why I put that up there. But then um, if you want to go into microscopic anatomy and look at individual cardiomyocytes or, or heart muscle cells, the, the two types of microscopic anatomy, which we will cover in detail, are cytology, the study of cells, and histology, the study of tissue. So a cell is the basic unit of life. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the smallest um, thing that's living, and then we'll look at all the, the structure and function of individual cells. Histology is when you put a group of cells together that have a specialized function. So one heart muscle cell, if we're studying that, it's cytology. When you put all your heart muscle cells together, that forms heart muscle tissue, and when we study it in that way, it will be histology. So here we see the subspecialties of, of physiology. So now instead of looking at this heart and how it's built, we would look at what it does. Cell physiology looks at the function of individual cells. Special physiology looks at the, the physiology of a specific organ. Systemic physiology, like the name implies, looks at the function of an organ system. And we'll do a lot of, we'll spend a lot of time looking at the function of organ systems, how the different organs or parts of an organ system work together. And then pathological physiology, I will sprinkle in some of this, but we don't, this is, it's beyond the scope of this class, but pathology is a study of disease. So we will look at, we will look at pathological anatomy and physiology when I give examples as far as like what inflammation does to the body, how diabetes damages the body, these types of things, but we won't have entire units where we cover pathology. That is your next level once you have this foundation. Okay, so those are the different types or subtypes of anatomy and physiology. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.